The £100 million earmarked by the Church of England for a new investment fund to help repair damage caused by its historic links to slavery is not enough, a report says. It comes after an investigation last year found the church had invested large amounts of money into a company that transported tens of thousands of slaves. The church welcomed the report by the church commissioner's charity and accepted its recommendations but would not commit to raising the fund to the report's £1 billion target. The Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby, said the report was the beginning of a multi-generational response to the appalling evil of slavery. Mr. Welby previously called the report's interim findings a source of shame. The report also reiterated calls for the church to fully acknowledge its involvement in the slave trade. After the archbishop said he was deeply sorry for the links. In 2022, money from the new fund should be invested in black-led businesses focusing on education, economic empowerment and better health outcomes, the report added. The oversight group behind the report has been looking into the history of the church's investment fund, which in the 18th century was known as Queen as Bounty. At that time, it had investments worth £406,942 potentially equivalent to about £724 million in today's money, in the South Sea Company. The company transported 34,000 slaves in crowded and safe and inhumane conditions over a 30-year period. The church commissioner's report, published on Monday, recommended that the church should recognize the £100 million initially earmarked for the new investment fund is not enough and increase it to at least £1 billion. Speed up the timeline for the delivery of the fund. Acknowledge and apologize for its historic D-E-N-I-L-T-H-A-T black Africans are created in the image of God and for its deliberate actions to destroy diverse African religious belief systems. The report said a £100 million investment was very small compared to the scale of racial disadvantage originating in African chattel enslavement. Kahind Andrews, professor of black studies at Birmingham City University, said it was impossible to quantify the lasting impact of slavery or just how much the church had benefited from it. He added, before science, it was the church's theology which justified the whole endeavor, and how do you put a price on that? The group says the investment program should be ultimately owned and run by black communities and should start later this year. While there will be grants for some non-profit investments, there will not be cash compensation for individuals or grants to government bodies, it added. Bishop Rosemary Mallet, the group's chair, said she hoped the report would be a catalyst to encourage other institutions to investigate their past and make a better future for impacted communities. She told BBC Radio 4's Today program the impacts of slavery that are still felt in communities today are that we brought in a system of racism where people were judged on the basis of their color. She added, we can't change the past, but we can work for a better present and we can build a legacy for the future. The church commissioners manages the church's investment portfolio. A spokesperson said the church would not raise its fund to £1 billion, but that the £100 million was seen as a seed investment, which they hope will grow over time. Gareth Mostyn, the group's chief executive, added, by addressing the past transparently the church will be more relevant to more people. The group said the church commissioners had embraced a target of £1 billion for a broader healing, repair and justice initiative with the fund at its center. Mr. Mostyn said he hoped the establishment of the fund would encourage others to co-invest and join us on this journey, and that as an investment fund it would hopefully grow and create a lasting legacy. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.